So I 3D printed this custom display stand for Superman versus Batman Xbox One controllers. If you want to see how I made this, stay tuned for this week's Filament Friday. So a local business who's actually helped support the channel from time to time came to me and asked if I could 3D print a custom display stand for their Xbox One controllers. They have the Superman versus Batman and they have a whole bunch of different custom controllers that they sell from their website Gamers Option. And they've looked into different displays and everything seemed too expensive so they asked would it be possible? And I thought you know this is kind of a challenge. So it's not something I would normally do. I'm not really good with art and style and all that. But I thought why not? I'll give it a shot and this was the result. So I started by designing the main frame in Tinkercad. Let me start there and show you how it went together. Now I'm not going to go through every step in making this and reproducing it because this thing is really big. So what I'm going to do is just ungroup it here and then show you the pieces. So at the corners I used a quarter round. They were a circle that I cut down just to get nice rounded edges. And in the back I used a bunch of blocks to even off the back of it to make it nice and smooth. And then the hooks themselves, I actually designed these separately and then brought them into the design. So they were designed in Tinkercad. So I'll ungroup it here just to show you all the pieces that went into it. There was a wedge um, at the top of it. That's the main part right here. And then there was a block I put on a 90 degree angle, a little rounded shoe molding, and then a bunch of takeaway to make it into a hook. And that was placed on both sides. And then the other pieces are just two blocks that are flattened out to make an L-shaped form and then all merged together in the center. And that's really all there is to this. But it took a while to make. The hooks took a, quite a while to make. And this is probably the biggest thing I've ever done in Tinkercad. So then the question became, how do I print it? How do I break this up? So let me show you. I did it in Tinkercad. So here's the left side completely broken out on its own. And that's what it looks like. But in reality, it's not. Because what I did is under the design duplicate feature, I duplicated the original full design. And then what I did is just turned it until I could get a block element, a big block element, to take out the section I didn't want. I just turned it into a hole and then when I regroup this thing I'm left with just the left side. So what I did is basically duplicate this, that original, three times and then took out the sections I didn't want until I had three separate pieces. So I sliced it in Simplify 3D and I actually turned it at 90 degrees so it was laying on its back. I wanted this so the support would actually be in the back, not anywhere on the front where people could see it. I sliced it at a 0.3 layer height. I initially did three top layers and later would change that. And then I included a raft and supports. And then I clicked prepare to print and it said it would take 7 hours, 7 minutes, 96 meters of plastic, and I sent it off to the maker front. And here's a time lapse of the center section being printed on the maker front. It came out beautiful. This thing printed really well. So for the Superman and Batman logo, I went to Thingiverse and I found one guy who had them both. It was Sebastian Roska. And he had some great designs. So I downloaded the Superman and then the Batman. And I printed those for the base. So here's the Batman symbol being printed on the Fabricator Mini. And I printed with a raft to make sure it would stick because this was ABS. And then once it got to the point where it started to print the Batman symbol, I clicked pause on the LCD and then removed the yellow filament from the printer. Replaced it with black filament and then went back and clicked resume print. And once I did that, it started printing black on top of the yellow, producing the symbol that I wanted. Now I didn't do anything special in Simplify 3D or anything like that. I just visually watched it and it, it worked out great. This was a pretty simple print. So now for the verses, I had to make that myself. So I went back to Tinkercad, and it really was simple to make. I started with just a block that was like one millimeter tall, and then I went and got the letter uh, tool and created the V and the S and set them to like four millimeters high. So actually they're three millimeters off the top of the one millimeter block. And then I surrounded this with a big hole disc just around the corners. 
and then grouped it all together and I had my verses. Everything's printed, now it just needs to be put together. And I learned a little bit printing these on the maker front. The top layers, and this first one that I did was set to three top layers, and it came out a little bit rough in this center section right here. When I did the second one, I did four top layers, and it came out smoother with just a few minor flaws. And then when I did the last one, the middle section, I did five top layers, and it's, it's really nice, nice and smooth. So I've kept that in the profile for Simplify 3D. You know, like every printer, you gotta learn its quirks, you gotta learn its personality, what it likes, what it doesn't, and clearly it wants more top layers than I was giving it. So, so that's a bonus now that I've, I've learned something. And also because of that set screw, it loosened up again on me. I guess I'm gonna have to use some Loctite for the coupling. I talked about that in the Maker Front review. It got me again here, I got some shifting twice, once here and once here, and it, it ended up leaving a gap in between these two because this thing shifted over. I tried sanding it smoother and filing it smoother to get rid of some of it, and I improved it, but there's still a gap there. And there's nothing I can do. Now these are glued together already. Um, I normally use ABS and acetone to fuse them together. So I've searched around and got different opinions, and a common opinion was Loctite Super Glue Professional does a decent job with ABS or with PLA. Um, it doesn't fuse together but it, it does seem to hold pretty good and it glows, glues pretty fast. So I think it's going to work for this application. So anyway these two are glued together. I just need to put the rest together. Put the right side on and then the Batman symbol will go in the front. Superman there and then the Versus symbol will go there. And then I just have the Superman controller and the Batman controller. And that's the way it'll look once it's all glued together. So I'll get this glued together and we'll wrap this up. So this is a little different than any project I've done before and it was kind of challenging. This is the biggest thing I've ever done in Tinkercad. Even though it's not super complicated, those hooks uh, they were kind of a pain. I actually printed just the hook first and I made a lot of mistakes in the process. So a lot of iterations went into this, a lot of time. But it came out okay. I think it looks okay. They're, they're happy with it. So anyway, if you are interested in maybe getting one of these controllers, they're offering my viewers 10% uh, off and free shipping. All you do is go to their website, gamersoption.com. should be right down here. If you go there, or I'll put it in the description too. Uh, enter the code Filament Friday, one word, Filament Friday. And you can buy anything at their site for, I don't know what the time period is, I think it's 30 days. And you get 10% off and free shipping. So check it out if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the channel and you're new, please subscribe. That way I know you'll, you like what you've seen and you wanna see more. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.